This is Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. Hurricane Debbie just made her way up the coast just west of us, so we didn't fish too much the last couple of days, but we did find our way to the Dollar Tree and I found a few items with which I might make some hacks. If you stick around the end, I'll show you what Halloween decorations can become. Why don't you come along? Hack number one. I saw this item at the Dollar Tree, it's called a drawstring bag, and my thought was this could be really handy if I wanted to use it for bank fishing or carrying just a small bit of gear. I can stick a couple of these tackle boxes right in here, and they fit in here nicely. Matter of fact, I think I can get three in, and then just pull the drawstring at the top, and you've got those in there. There's a zipper pocket here in the front. I can put things like a fishing line and maybe my line cutter, that sort of thing in that little bag there in the front. So for a small little bag, I've got three tackle boxes inside. It has a drawstring closure, so it's easy to open. And the strings actually act as straps if I'd want to put it on as a backpack. And it's got a little pocket here for things like sticking my license and uh, some extra line, that sort of thing. And it's only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Easy hack. Hack number two. If you fish like I do from an aluminum boat, you can really make a lot of noise. Dropping things in the bottom of your boat, lures, lighter, line cutter, that sort of thing. I found this at the Dollar Tree. It's called a drawer organizer. And on the bottom, it has little feet made out of rubber. So it's not gonna make a lot of noise if you sit that in your boat. It also has a liner inside made of rubber, which helps also dampen any noise. So when you toss things in your organizer, it's not gonna telegraph that sound to the boat. And that's going to make a big difference to keep the noise down when you're out fishing. So for $1.25, you can keep things quiet. Easy hack at the Dollar Tree. Hack number three. I found this at the Dollar Tree. I think it came out of the office area, but it's called an organizer and it's metal. But what I found was interesting was this mesh. I can take a couple of screws and mount this this way in my boat. And then throughout the day, as I use different spinners and lures with hooks, I could just hang these on this rack and they'll be out of the way. I won't drop them in the bottom of my boat, that sort of thing. And I can really get a lot of these lures on this one single organizer. Throughout the day, if I want to grab one of my lures and try them again, they're right there handy. And then at the end of the day, instead of digging these up out of the bottom of the boat or where I've thrown them, I can just clean them up and take them off the rack and I'm ready to go for the next day. Easy hack, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Hack number four. I like to fish with worms a lot, and I rig them like this. So during the day, when you take a worm off your hook, if you want to change them out, you end up oftentimes tearing the end of your worm up. Well, there's a trick to fixing those. You can take your lighter, and you heat that part of the worm where it's torn, and you can just press that back together and your worm's good as new. Same thing with one here that's torn nearly in two. Just warm that up a bit, put it together, and there you go, good as new. So during the day as I use my worms, I don't like to waste them and just toss them aside because they're torn or one. I like to keep them and to keep track of them, I found this. This is a cosmetic bag. It says be kind, which isn't bad advice. But as I go during the day, I can just toss these worms that I switch out in this bag. And then I've got them all in one spot and they're not lost all over the boat. And later on I can take my lighter, patch them all back up, and I'm ready to use them the next time. Dollar twenty-five. The Dollar Tree. Hack number five. I like to bait my minnow trap with bread. It seems to really bring them in, but sometimes if you're gonna leave your trap in the water for very long, your bread wants to just disintegrate and wash away. So 
little trick I found is I take one of these bird suet baskets, comes from the Dollar Tree, and you can open it up, and inside there's a chain, you just take that chain loose, And what I've got now is a basket that's just about the same size as a piece of toast. Matter of fact, you can stick two pieces in there if you want, and it just snaps closed. So all you need to do to bait your minnow trap is take a piece of toast, put it in your suet basket. So just put your toast in your minnow trap, and then close the trap up. Now you've got your, your minnow trap baited with bread and the bread's not going to deteriorate and wash away as fast because it's held in that basket and it's toasted. And it was only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Hack number six. We talk from time to time about what happens when a sinker repeatedly hits your fiberglass pole. It can create micro fractures and eventually damage your pole and you don't even know it's happening. So whenever I have a free floating sinker like this that's going to bang into my pole, I like to find a way to keep that secure so it doesn't rattle and bang when I'm carrying my pole or transporting it. On well, the Dollar Tree, I found these. These are multi-purpose clips. And what I found interesting about these is they're, they're metal and they've got a lot of strength, but they're plastic coated. So what we can do is take this line here where the sinker is and we'll just add a clip and put that clip right up against the pole here and it won't do any harm because it's rubberized and that'll keep that sinker from banging around when I'm transporting my pole. And I get a number of them in a package for $1.25 so you can make all of your poles safe if you're rigged up with a lot of sinkers. Easy hack from the Dollar Tree. Hack number seven. I've talked before about protecting ourselves from these treble hooks that can be very sharp and easily catch onto your clothing or yourself. I've found different methods for covering your treble hooks when you're carrying your pole or transporting it so you don't catch in your hand. Well at the Dollar Tree I found these, these are called jaw clips and I've used a small version before and you can kind of cover each hook but these are neat, this is bigger. So the idea with a jaw clip is because of its big size, I can cover the entire lure with this jaw clip and those points aren't going to be out anywhere that they can catch me. And I can cover a pretty large lure with that. And they're only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. You can pick up a couple of them. Hack number eight. I was noticing around the checkout counter at the Dollar Tree and I found this. This is called a thin flashlight. They're only $1.25. And look at this flashlight. It's not very substantial. It's not like a pin light or anything. But all you have to do is push that button and look at that bright light. It's really, really bright. And kind of as a safety thing, you could put that right in your tackle box. And if you're ever out in the dark or things get a little late and you don't have a form of light, you can dig that out of your tackle box, give it a squeeze, and you've got enough light to find yourself around. Check that out. Not bad for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. I think I'd pick up a couple of these. They're practically disposable. Hack number nine. Not really a hack, but handy as can be, I ran across these. This is called a portable first aid pack. It's only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. For $1.25, you get a couple of alcohol prep pads. You get a number of medium sized bandages as well as large bandages and a couple of these round bandages. For $1.25, if you don't want to carry a whole safety kit around if you're bank fishing or traveling light, trout fishing or whatever, not a bad little safety to have a few band-aids along. 
I know along the way I've needed one. It seems like I'm always brushing against something or poking myself. So for a dollar twenty-five, little portable first aid pack. Like I said, not really a hack, but great to have along. Hack ten. I found these Halloween ornaments at the Dollar Tree. And there were 16 pieces in here for $1.25. And the shape and size of them gave me an idea. They're basically plastic. And they've got a little eye on them here so you can hang them on a tree. These are nearly waterproof. All I have to do is pop this top part off. Take some silicon and squeeze it into the hole in the top. Okay, now I've got that sealed off. I can pop this back on. And now, what I've made myself, with just a little bit of effort, I've got 16 bobbers. And they're gonna float just fine. They're bright, I'm able to see them. And there we go. Get 16 for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. This has been Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. Today, while we're waiting for Hurricane Debbie to move out of the area, I brought you some fishing hacks from the Dollar Tree. If you like my videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, just click right there. We'll see you next time.